Good morning. morning. Kids, good morning. Ah, come on kids, you can do better than that. I'm tired, you're tired. Kids, good morning. morning. All right, just because I'm old and myopic and you can ask your parents what that word means later on. Kids, can you put your hands up so I can see you please? Beautiful, beautiful, good. I've got an equal spread. Uh, Kids, we're going to do the kids talk now, but I want to remind you of a number of things and I want you to ask your parents these questions. So parents, you're on notice. If your parents don't know the answer, they might refer you to Mr. and Mrs. Hearn, Mr. and Mrs. Morris, Mr. and Mrs. Dunlop, all kinds of people to get the answers. But here are the questions. This is what we've been looking at over the last few weeks. What is the church? That was question number one. There's the answer. Second question. Who builds the church? There's the answer. Third question. That's today. What's that question say? Who makes up the church? So who are members of the church? Who are members of the church? But first, let me tell you about one of my favourite sports. Uh, Because I love sport. Sport's getting a bit harder in this older, pudgier age that I'm in. But I love touch football. So let me show you my touch football gear. These are my touch football shoes. Highly recommend them. They've lasted me several seasons. These are my touch football socks, neatly washed. These are my touch football shorts. I like those shorts. And Mr. Gordon, just restrain yourself. But this is my touch football shirt. Okay, number 10. That's the first of all the reserves, okay? I love touch football. Touch football is a big sport in Narrabri. Uh, It's played on Monday nights. And there are a lot of people that go to touch football. So when I came to Narrabri, when we moved to Narrabri in 2019, I joined a touch football team. I I signed up. I paid the registration fee, I got my uniform. And then I had a really important question. How am I going to know all the other touch football players? Uh, How am I going to know who else plays touch football? And then I had a really, really important question, which was, how do I know I'm a touch football player? How do I know that I play touch football? I mean, I've got the uniform, I've paid the fees... I've told everyone that I do it, but how do I know that I'm a touch football player? What's the one important thing I've got to be doing? I've paid the fees. I've told everyone I play. What do I then have to do? What's that, Baxter? I've got to play the game. No use paying the fees. No use having the uniform if you don't play. If you don't play, you're a pretender, aren't you? That's kind of like God and who makes up his church. And that helps us think about who we are as part of God's church. There's a really important thing that you've got to say about Jesus Christ, and I'm going to read it to you from the Bible. And you're going to hear this in the sermon. This is the thing that we need to make sure that we understand we make up God's church. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's what you've got to proclaim. Who's the Lord? No, I didn't hear you. Who's the Lord? Jesus. All right. Jesus is Lord. You proclaim it, but then what have you got to do? You've got to practice it, don't you? You've got to practice Jesus is Lord. And that's how you know who is in the church. Proclaim Jesus is Lord. Practice Jesus is Lord. Proclaim Jesus is Lord. Practice Jesus is Lord. Now, kids, there are some sheets there. Uh, There's a mix of stuff in those sheets. There's some colouring in stuff. There's some finder word stuff. Let me remind you in three weeks' time, or in two weeks' time now, we've got our memory verse challenge, Ephesians 4, verses 15 to 16. But when you see me playing touch football, when you see anyone playing touch football on a Monday, be reminded, proclaim and practice. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Let me pray and then we're going to stand up and say what we believe about Jesus in the words of the creed. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you sent Jesus to deal with our sins so that we can meet you. Thank you that he is Lord because he beat our sin and death. 
Father, help us to not only proclaim this, but to practice this in every part of our lives. Amen.